Hello, hello, you sexy people. It's your boy Prof Chaff. We're back again with another Gigag video. This is China is taking over your favorite anime. Hey, China's already already taking over one of my favorite uh, mangas or manwas or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, there's listen, of all the cultivation manga out there, there's a couple of good ones. Some of them are good, okay? So Mom, let's see what they do with Mom, anime. Listen to me, okay? It's called anime. It's not called Chinese cartoons. It's never been called Chinese cartoons. It's always been called okay. anime. Okay? I don't watch Chinese cartoons. Chinese. Okay. Wait. Japan are the modern kings of 2D animation. While Disney may have originally set the rules, Japan have continued to pump out and tell amazing stories True. in the medium of 2D animation, True. even if it seemed like for the longest time, the rest of the world decided that 3D was the way to go. But they stuck to their guns, and I think a lot of us gravitated towards Japanese anime for this exact uh. reason. Now, with anime exploding in popularity worldwide, it feels like they have kind of a stranglehold when it comes to 2D animated TV series in the I, modern day. Hey, so the let's be honest, there are some good 3D animes. Probably. I mean, 3D could be good for anime, it's just that, I don't know, I, I like the 3D art sometimes that they use, but the animation those themselves, they don't look good. Decades of experience and wealth it. of talent in the know. industry, we won't really have to pay attention oh, to what other punch. places are doing. Right? Every minute that I die back in time Every single day exists in Hell. I did not think I would find another show that would eclipse Odd Taxi as my biggest surprise of the year. So when a new Chinese animation, Link Click, mm -hmm. popped Click. up as the 21st highest rated show on Mal, I was just like, Pfft. Wait, what the f- What does ONA mean? What does ONA what mean? What is this? I mean, just look at this poster. We got two very pretty boys that the oh, girls are yes, obviously gonna daddy. ship together. Oh, no, wait, there's a girl as well. Oh, let me guess. It's gonna be some cliche high school love triangle where he likes her and she also kind of likes him, but also has the hots for this other guy who doesn't like her at first, but then it turns out he actually does and then none of them confess to each other and then it gets- Hey, bro, I've always wondered, why Why don't y'all just have a threesome? Hey, just, just, just fuck. Just, just fuck, come on. Dragged on for a hundred chapters, and then it turns out she's Mommy. one of their stepsisters. <laughs> hey, make it better, baby! And it turns out, I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> Link Click follows two guys, Cheng, Cheng, Cheng Xiaoxi, and Lu, uh, Lu, Lu Guang. <sighs> oh, that's Fuck pretty easy, Lu Guang. The Hongo Josie yet are now meant to be neither Zhong Wen Hen Hao. God, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Two boys who can travel through time. What? Kinda. The two of them run a photography studio, which acts as the core basis of their time travel mechanics. Oh. Being able to see all the events that happened 12 hours ahead from when the photo was taken, and this guy can possess any person who took the photo. Sheng Zhaoshe is the traveler, and Lu Guang is the guide. Leading him through the events of the past, making sure he doesn't stray off the path too much that it affects the events of the present. Together, they tackle different cases ranging from corporate espionage, to human trafficking, to what cute women hell? doing gay things. Sometimes you just come across a show that- Okay. Hey, I don't know about espionage, awesome action, but you got me. Jujuk, you got me. Hey, I'm gonna watch that series. That's all you gotta say. There is Yuri inside of it. I am inside of it. That doesn't need to do too much to hook yes. you in because the concept itself is such a strong hook. It's just so perfectly set up to hook me harder, daddy. Full of stakes and conflict. And what immediately draws you in about this show is that it doesn't fuck around setting the stage or establishing the ground rules of what they can do and how they do it. They can only enter each photo once. They only have a 12 hour time period to do whatever it is they need to do. And they both agreed that no matter what happens, they won't act to change the events of the past. Okay. This sounds pretty simple on paper, except when Sheng Zhao Shu possesses a person, he doesn't just inhabit them. He feels what they feel, senses what they sense, and even get his host's memory along the way. But he's forced to stay on the predetermined script Lu Guang gives him because whatever happened in the past has to happen again, no matter how he feels about the situation he's in. The host I got unfairly judged sometimes. or mistreated? Well, you better just suck it up and take it with no karma because <laughs> what, what, what do you think this is? A fucking Darman video? <laughs> Darman? <laughs> It's not. It's not a Darman video. Oh, what was that? The host slept with someone in those 12 hours? Oh, well, shit. You better get ready for oh. a ride, baby. Hey, hey bro. Hey, hey, chill, chill, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you tell me I need to get fucked? Because there's only one ah, destination okay. and its name is Bone Town. The stage is just so perfectly set up for an absolutely wild ride and the show immediately delivers on it. Link Click has one of the strongest first episodes you can find in anime this year. The show just throws you straight into the deep end, just fucking full on no loot penetration right in the ass. And after the first credits start That's rolling, how I like you know it, the baby. exact play here. You understand what's at stake, you understand the ride you're about to get on, and you know what this show's gonna be all about. <sighs> Honestly, episode one tells you pretty much what? everything you need to know about the series. You're either gonna be hooked or you're not. Being completely straight with you, just watching the first episode would probably do a better you're either gonna be hooked or you see this shit? She slapped the glass, the glass slapped him, then the thing turned around, did a 360 and poured on his ball sack. Impressive. Out. Honestly, Impressive. episode one tells you pretty much everything you need to know about the series. You're either gonna be hooked or you're not. Being completely straight with you, just watching the first episode would probably do a better job at telling you guys if this series is gonna be for you than some dickhead on the internet ever could who spends far too much time now watching literal Chinese cartoons. Hey guys, please stay. Time travel is not exactly a new concept in TV, movies, uh -huh. or even anime, and it's so easy to fall into the usual pitfalls. Same case? Most time travel stories is about changing the present for a better future, or changing the past to middle with the present. And then you always get the inevitable Terminator. paradoxes or plot holes that everyone just has to accept because, pfft, I don't know. Time travel, innit? But here, it's more about accepting that the past Quantum shouldn't physics. be changed, no matter how painful you know the outcome's gonna be. I think the most genius element they added was having Shen Zhao Shi get the emotions of the person he's coming into, uh -huh. juxtaposed with the passive observer his partner is. Some of the moments he can find himself in can be absolutely brutal, and he has to truly live it. Acknowledging that you have to be merely an observer to some people's most- Bro, that seems like a pretty bad deal. Wait, why is he doing this again? That seems like- I I mean, he does get fucked from time to time, so I guess there is a plus to it, but... Intimate and most traumatic experiences, knowing that the result needs to be willingly acted out, yeah. might be even harder than being that person, living in that moment, ignorant to what's about to come next. Where Link Click truly shines is in its personal stories. It's not always about the big traumatic events, but it's in the small details that give so many of these stories heart. Growing up in a Southeast Asian family, for some reason, every problem according to my parents or aunts or uncles was was resolved with fucking food. Oh, you're hungry? You should eat. Oh. Damn, y'all fuck food over there? Jesus Christ. Hehe. <laughs> you're not hungry? You should eat. Oh, you're not feeling well? Have you tried eating? Oh, you're not hungry? You should eat. Hey, bro, who eats bread? Who eats bread on its own? Stop. Oh, you're not feeling well? Have you tried eating? Hey, are you eating well? Oh, what? The sky is falling, the sea is red, and the world is coming to an end? Eat? You should eat. Maybe one more time he might be still alive. Why are you so fat? So just seeing little things, like a worried mum phoning up to ask if her daughter is eating well, then travelling all the way to her apartment to bring her some home-cooked food just so she can get through a bad day, I was just like, Oh no. Oh god. Give me a second. Oh. Hold on, she I and the film, huh? and tell her I've already eaten today. Now let's talk about the production values of the sink. Okay. It fucking... Normally when I do my seasonal videos, it's a... I have a... Co what is this anime? Why did my boy just slap a doggo? Fucking... Ooh. Normally when I do my seasonal videos, it's immediately apparent when the Why? show just has that extra bit of effort, that extra bit of polish Why? to make it stand out from your generic shows around it. And Link Click has this in spades. The backgrounds are gorgeous, the art style honestly looks like some kind of webcomic brought to life. Even more so than some actual anime adaptations of <laughs> webcomics. The OST by itself is already pretty damn good, but then it also has four or five different insert songs spread out during the big moments in the show. And that's how you know you need to take this shit seriously, because you know shit's real when most anime get even one insert song. This might not be better animated than the best that Japanese animation has to offer, but it beats the shit out of 90% of the seasonal drivel that airs. Not to mention both the opening and ending, which is just... Oh god, they're just so Stop slapping the dog! Hard. The ending is such Stop. an absolute bop that even though pretty much episode ends on a cliffhanger, I didn't immediately start the next episode, cause you know what? 
I still got time. Then there's the opening, which all I'll say about this is as a man who skips anime openings, I never once skipped this opening. I mean, just listen to this. Look hey, how too, fucking buddy. cool this is. Just look at this hand animation, man. <laughs> Shit smoother yeah, than an awesome. average League of Legends player's brain. Hopefully you think this sounds pretty hype, cause I- <laughs> Assuming average League of Legends players have brains. Come on, bro. Hey. Did so much so that I said on Twitter that this could possibly be an anime of the year contender, which was wrong. Okay, I might have got a bit carried away, but I was just so hyped to find a gem that I hadn't seen anyone talk about. I think the weakest part of this show actually is when it remembered it had an ongoing murder mystery plotline, because oh. every time it did, I was just like. <laughs> Side stories. The show is at its best when yeah. the two main leads are just used as a vehicle to tell other people's story and whenever it feels pressured to refer back to the main plot, I don't feel like neither leads got enough development to be interesting enough to carry it by themselves cause when it does, it devolves into a more standard time travel thriller plotline which other shows have already done and done better. When the show hits though, it absolutely fucking hits which is why what we have right now- What?! The show hits though, it absolutely fucking hits which is why what we have right now is a damn solid show. Is that a killer is it midget? an anime of the year contender? What the fuck Maybe was that Maybe if it had aired in 2020 when anime was going through much more of a dry spell. Is it the 21st best anime of all time? Hell no. But we do have a good foundation. Having said that, I think it's unfortunate that even when I tried to recommend it, a lot of people didn't want to give this a chance. Hey. Partly because- I'm Hey bro, did you mention the Yuri part to them? Fortunately, this show is called the Link Click, so when a YouTuber makes a post about a show called Link Click and people see the word link and click, the first reaction is, where's the link and what do I click on? <laughs> where's the hashtag ad? But also solely because it was a piece of media that came from China. Look, I'm Bilibli. just a guy who likes to keep it simple. I don't care where it comes from, I just like good shit, and Chinese Same, animation bro. has been on the rise for a while. I've already made True a video shit. about the esports extravaganza, King's Avatar, and I thought 2018's Modal Zushi was excellent. Scissor 7 is the closest thing we've gotten to Chinese Gintama, but I think Link Click is the first time they've truly made a gateway show. Something that I can easily recommend to anyone, has an interesting concept, it immediately has hooks you, is so easily bingeable, and has great production values. It is genuinely one of the better shows this year, even in such a strong year of anime. And I'm just waiting for the day I can finally start calling this Donghua to the masses, instead of clickbaiting this as Chinese anime, because no one right now really knows what the fuck Donghua is. If you're finding this season a little slow, which it definitely is, then this is something you can easily binge to fill in the gap. Now, if you excuse uh. me, I have a phone call I need to make. Oi, oi. Mom, get the Hi, Mom. camera. Sorry I shouted at you earlier today. Yes, I've already eaten. No, Mom, it's not anime, it's Chinese cartoons. Okay, Chinese cartoons. A guy Yuri. It's guy Yuri. I mean, that's pretty much all I need for uh, me to be interested in an anime. If it got girl kissing, Hey bro, I'm in. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's like for a minute. I will watch it until it happens and if it's interesting, I'll keep watching it. Uh, that, that, that's how I go. Has anyone seen it? Let me know what y'all think about it. Has anyone planning to watch it after watching this? Let me know in the comments and uh, yeah. If you want to see more Jiju reactions by a boy, check out the playlist right here. Quick thank you to the YouTube members and Patreons. Thank you all for the support and have a nice day everybody. Bye bye.